Hey guys, welcome back to Totally Rudy. You didn't really think I was gonna sit this one out, did ya? No way! We are here to present to you the new historical doll from American Girl. This is her collection in front of us. We're gonna show you an up close look at each individual set, her clothes, her large accessory, and of course the doll itself. Courtney is from 1986. Here is Courtney straight out of the box. This is her totally 80s outfit. I think one of the reasons I love the late 80s, early 90s so much is because there is so much pop of color and that makes me so happy. So I love this time. She is wearing a denim skirt. It has an elastic waistband. Here on the front is a little button, but it is fake. There is nothing to button or zip or Velcro at all in the front and of course it's high waisted so you're gonna pull that up and then it's pleated right here it's a tank top underneath and then she has her crop top which you could you know kind of pull off one shoulder there some cute vibes going on she has her pink leggings underneath these white leather boots pull them off and you see they are full stockings. Right out of the box, she does come with a scrunchie. Her hair isn't terribly thick at all. There's not a ton of curls and it's, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's like super tight curls. There's just not a whole lot of curls. It would have been really cool if it was crimped hair. I mean, we have so many curly hair dolls already. Crimped hair would have been so unique. I think it would have brought a lot more interest to the doll. And her bangs are a little flat. For the 80s but maybe we can tease those up a bit and that is Courtney here is a look at her book Courtney changes the game and one thing you'll notice inside the book are the illustrations I love how at the beginning of the book they give you like a little peek into Courtney's world so you can kind of like visualize her time her era what everything looked like and then you have the character list to see all the characters this is Courtney's bunk bed. It is a full metal frame bunk bed, and unlike other American Girl bunk beds in the past, this one does not come apart. It is one solid piece. The like the bed is not metal bars. It is you see that like wooden piece or MDF, and you do get two full size mattresses, two reversible blankets, and four of these rainbow pillows. So you can play with these and make like a rainbow or you can just do different designs, whatever you want. The accessory pillow is a little Pac-Man. It wouldn't be American Girl without the stickers. So this is the sticker sheet that you get. California sticker, totally radical. And I love all the geometric designs. Here, I think Maureen is her mom and she is running for mayor in the book. I just love the vibes this gives us. This is probably the piece everyone has been dying to see up close. This is her corded telephone. It is the clear telephone from the 80s. Looks just like it. Look at this, the numbers. You can't really press them. The receiver dial does push down, look. Hear that? And it even has the little sticker for telephone numbers you can place on there. I remember phones having this. So this is kind of like your favorites list on your cell phone right now, the speed dial. And you can see all the detail in the phone. There you go, when you turn it on, this is the button on the side. It makes the ring. That is just like the real one. It lights up when the telephone is ringing. And then look, stops. So if it's, on the, if it's on the receiver and you push it like it's ringing, as soon as you answer it, it stops. Hello? That is so cool. You also get a set of bookends. Again, the 80s design. I think this is another reason why I love Tetris so much is because these shapes, I don't know, they just make me happy. Two books included, Molly's Surprise, A Christmas Story, and Sarah Plain and Tall Look. It is the full book. As always, that's a favorite thing of mine, these little books that are real. She has a diary, and what's cool about this diary is it's not just one page. It goes on for several pages. Probably about, look, almost complete. And then you have a few empty pages to fill in. But look at that. Here's your telephone and address book. This is empty, so you can just fill this out yourself. You have a full calendar, which I'm surprised 
they didn't partner with like Lisa Frank for the calendar or like the Trapper Keeper. That would have been really cool to see her designs on these. A little fake plant. This is the one side of her bed. You just see like this design. You have two handles, two hooks for all your hangers. It comes with four hangers. These are like the regular shirt hangers and dresses. And these are for your skirts and leggings. So you can hang those up. There's a shelf on the top right here, as well as on the inside of the bunk. Here's a closer look at the inside of the bunk. There is a full back wall here. With the 80s artwork, you have a full shelf on the inside, and there's a mirror right here. It does not come off, but it is really cute. And like most metal bunk beds from the 80s, there's really no way to get to that top bunk except for act like a monkey and just climb on up. <laughs> Also with several sets of Courtney's, there are these little booklets. This one is bunking together and it just gives you like little snippets of Courtney's life and some little details which I think is really cool. Here's a little fact about Caboodle which I already knew since I had one growing up. But yeah, I like these little booklets and I'll show you more throughout the collection. This is Courtney's Caboodle set. It comes with several scrunchies. This one's actually a hair bow just on a hair tie, but these two are the velvet scrunchies. And one thing I noticed is that these two scrunchies are much larger than the scrunchie from her meat. Look at this one. You see how like tiny this one is? Definitely a difference in size. I'll show them on her wrist also since, of course, you wear scrunchies on your wrist. Here's a little hair pick. This is what you use to tease your hair, mostly your bangs. I think my mom still uses hers. Besides the caboodle, this is another favorite piece of mine. It's hairspray, max hold. The lid comes off, but wait, but wait. You can press down the little sprayer. How cool is that? So you can spray your doll's hair with the hairspray. I love this piece. These little details are what make these pieces so cool and so fun. You have a set of nail stickers, and guess what? You have quite a few inside, and they are real. Several more, several more. Oh, purple, perfect. See the little nail stickers that you can put on your dolls? Then you have your clip, your hair clip. I remember this, you take all your hair, go up under it, clip it together, and then it creates like a mane down the middle. Have your little makeup compact. There's a brush inside, and, hello, a real mirror. And last, but not least, definitely the best, from this set is the actual caboodle. It is literally just perfect. I am surprised there's no mirror there. I'm wondering if the originals didn't have a mirror. I can't remember. I remember I had a purple and pink one, and these came out the year I was born. This is Courtney's Pac-Man lunch set with the lunch box, the hard case lunch box. Everybody had one of these. It opens up perfectly. You have your little thermos with the lid. Let's see if it unscrews. Yes, it does. Ooh, it even has that little thing. Oh, it doesn't unscrew again. There you go. So you can pour it into your cup. Close that. That fits in there. You have your nice brownie dessert with sprinkles. Sandwich. Didn't come in a bag. It's a Ziploc bag. This looks like a bologna sandwich. Ham sandwich. Cut in half. Ooh, your yummy yummy cheese puffs. These are the cheese balls. It actually opens up. And you have a little cluster of cheese balls. Look at that. Perfect. I wonder if it all fits inside. Okay, that's gonna be crazy. And then you have three apple slices that are stuck together. So let's see. No. I guess your thermos actually doesn't go in the lunchbox. That's my mistake. Is this? There we go. Yeah, because you carry your lunchbox and your thermos separate. And you get another little booklet with some information on there, little facts. This one is called All Set for School. I love these little booklets. This set is Courtney's School Supplies, and in this set, it also comes with a booklet. In the booklet, when you open it up, you'll actually see that there are two sets that are shown, so that means that this booklet is gonna be included with the lunchbox set, 
and the school supply set. The main item in this set is this cute little binder. It has the unicorn, the rainbows, same front and back. Again, Lisa Frank would have been so cute for this collection, but something that I love is that the three ring binder actually opens. To open it, you're gonna press the two ends together like that. See, press, and then close. I'm gonna put some of this lined paper that came with the set in the three ring binder so you can see what it looks like. Place it in and close, see? And I think the folders fit in here too, let's see. They do! So you get two folders, this one is the dolphin folder, and the other folder is dream, and then it has the place for your name and subject on there. Open it up, and these folders have the pockets on the side. So cute, I can definitely make some printables for that and just put them up on the blog so you can have access to them. Here are some puffy stickers. Puffy stickers were really popular. I mean, honestly, some of the things with the 80s never really went out of style, at least they didn't for me and in my house, but puffy stickers have still been popular for us. Pencil box, as you can see, it has the abstract art on there, and right here on the front, is where you're gonna sharpen your pencil. So you stick it in there, super convenient, and then on the bottom you'll see even the detail to where the pencil shavings are gonna come out. When you open the box, I will say, everything is super cute, I do love it, but some things you know, are a little more flimsy than others. This pencil box is gonna be one of those items because as soon as I opened it, I could see the plastic starting to stretch right here, which is okay, but for long term, that might not hold up very well because I can also see it starting to crack on the outside. And I literally just opened it. Let me see if you can see the little cracks. Can you see those little cracks? Yeah, there's, there's little cracks as if they were attached separately, like it wasn't one mold when they were printing it. Yeah, I'm afraid this might actually break off soon. In the pencil box, you have little compartments for your erasers and your other items. This is your pencil part, and there is this little thing where you can place your pencils in. We'll go ahead and stick our pencils right in there. Wait, which way did they go? This way? I think they can only, yeah, they can only go one way. Three of these pencils are included little number two pencils, and they even say number two on them, and press it down. Three erasers are included. There's one little dinosaur triceratops. You have one little, what is this? It looks like a poodle. Kind of looks like a poodle mix. I don't know, a poodle wiener mix? I have no idea, but it's a puppy dog, and then this is a kitty cat. So here are your three erasers, and these will fit nicely in your pencil box. Put them all in there. And that completes the set of Courtney's school supplies. This is Courtney's accessory set. It comes, look, with a little cassette player. There are buttons on top. They all press. It opens up. So you can place a cassette inside or tape. I just call them tapes. This tape is blue. It's Courtney's mix number one. And there is an A side and a B side, very realistic. You place this in. My daughter was actually playing with this set and she's like, mom, it doesn't work because she was placing it in this way and it won't close that way. You have to put it in upside down, which is the way you would normally do it in a tape player. There are little buttons on the side. Those don't actually do anything. And then there's a little knob on the top there is a handle on the back so the doll can actually hold it. And this knob on the top is where you're gonna plug in your headset. So you see that? You're just gonna pop that right on. And now your headset, or your headphones are plugged in. So you can jam out to your favorite tunes. You have a lanyard with chapstick, lip smackers, peach, the top, does come off and you see the chapstick inside. 
very cool. I love that. But be careful not to lose the top. And then the lanyard does get bigger, so you can put it over the doll's head, and then you can tighten it just to make it like a smaller necklace. And again, I mean, we still have lip smackers all throughout the house, so that's one brand that stayed with us. This is the tape case. Courtney has written her songs on here and doodled on it, and then it does open up as well, so you can store the tapes inside. Let's see. Again, you have to place it in upside down for it to close. And then there's a little pin right here, a little button pin, Maureen for Mayor, and it just clips on. There's actually like no needle. And you get four doll bracelets or bangles. Now, normally you would, in the 80s, you would wear all of these together. There is an opening so it's easier to stretch around the doll's wrist, and that way they're a little bit tighter on the wrist as well. Very cute. This set is labeled as Courtney's belt bag and watch, but come on, this is a fanny pack. I own several of these and I still use them to this day. They're just really convenient when you're going out for a jog or when you're doing like something where you don't wanna have a backpack purse or, or anything. These little pouches around the waist are just convenient. But yes, they are totally 80s style. I don't know, were they called belt bags? because I just remember them known as fanny packs. I still call them fanny packs. So right here, it just unclips, clips, and then you can make it tighter and loosen it as well. There's just one zipper pouch. Stick a few things in there like your keys, lip gloss. Today, you would stick your cell phone in it and a wallet, which is what I use it for. But Courtney doesn't have a cell phone. Then here's her watch, purple and black. There you go. And these are the only two items that come in this little set. This is Courtney's Care Bears sleeping bag set. I know a lot of people were really excited for this set because Care Bears, of course, slumber party. So this booklet you're gonna get with the sleeping bag set and her boom box set. And again, a few little facts on this little thing. But this set only includes her sleeping bag, her pillow, and of course, a cute little Care Bear. Comment down below if you can name this Care Bear without cheating. Look very closely. So cute. We already have a lot of these little Care Bears because you can get them with the world's smallest toys. So I think we have all of them. Oh yeah, cute little heart bum. Care Bear pillow, long American Girl tag that we're gonna have to get rid of, and then the sleeping bag. Here's a closer look at the back, the front. Did anybody own a Care Bear's sleeping bag? And if you did, did it look like this? It does unzip all the way, and look. Look at that nice like fleece inside. It's so nice and cozy, so soft. Oh, it got stuck on the tag. No, these tags are so frustrating. Okay, now I'm gonna zip it up. Because when you're sleeping in it, typically you just have it like that. Very cute. And that is it with the Care Bears sleeping bag. This set is Courtney's Fashion Accessories. It contains one green scrunchie. And what's funny is this size scrunchie is bigger than her meat scrunchie that she comes with, but it feels, or it seems like it's a little bit smaller than the other two velvet scrunchies. So she's gonna have several different size scrunchies in her collection, which I think is cool, because our scrunchie collection definitely has different sizes and like material, cloth material and textures. It also comes with one headband with a bow on it. This is like a tool material, so you can definitely replicate this headband, just use some tool that you probably have on hand. So it's just a little bow, and it's like folded in half, and then at the back it is met with just a little piece of elastic. We've made several of these for our own 80s party looks. It comes with one pair of purple fingerless gloves. There we go, they are really lacy. They are made so the doll's four fingers can go through one side and then the thumb goes through separate. And you also get two pair of earrings. You get a green, like a lime green and a hot pink. It comes with the post and then the drop down earring is separate. So you can take that off if you don't like the look of it or you can stick the post through and you have your danglies. 
Now because they do come loose like that, I love this, you can mix and match the colors. So you don't have to put the pink with pink or green with green. You can even mix and match to where you have one star and then let's, let's do the opposite. And then you have one of the arrows. Again, we still mix and match our earrings today, but this was totally a thing in the 80s. See, you can wear them like that. Now, we didn't get Courtney's ears pierced just because, I mean, the, the earrings that it was gonna come with, if you did, were not 80s, and we already had that set, and it didn't really like represent Courtney. So we're gonna pierce her ears at home and then use these earrings. This is Courtney's sleepover accessory set. This set comes with the boom box and the little cassette tapes and snacks and a drink for sleepover. Again, it comes with a little booklet, the same booklet that's in the sleeping bag set. But if you only get one set, at least you get this little booklet with the little facts about her friend that comes over and her staying the weekends with her dad. It comes with this little game. It shows instructions on the back. It's the paper game that you make the little pocket and you just do like little fun things with it. Also, it comes with two fruit punch drinks. They're little cans, like soda cans with the straws in them. A bowl of potato chips that come out of the bowl, has a paper lining, and these look an awful lot like the Doritos Cool Ranch. Look at the detail on the chips. Yeah, these are Doritos. <laughs> um, the Doodle book comes with this little pen. What's really cool about this Doodles book is that this is not gonna be a book that you're gonna doodle in because every single page of this book has a doodle in it. Look, the Doodles are adorable. Yeah, they're really good. And like I said, every single page has doodles. And you get four cassette tapes, purple, pink, white, yellow. Every tape comes with a case, and they're all labeled differently. Some of them are really kind of hard to open up, but yeah, you just do that. And look, so let's see some of the different labels. They all have different songs that she has recorded on these blank tapes. And then of course, the big item in this set is the actual boom box. To use this boom box, you do need three, I think, AAA batteries that are not included. On the boom box, the antenna does pop out. I don't know if it pops up. It doesn't pop up, but it like pops out. Okay, and it has a handle. So when you put the antenna down, you can put the handle down or up. And then let's see which buttons actually work. This is the volume. Play, stop, eject. Oh my goodness, did you see that? Okay, so play, stop, eject. And this one opens up. So this shows tape one and this shows tape two, but only tape one opens up for a cassette. So it opens up and you can place a little cassette in. Okay, now let's mesh play. Why isn't it playing? I have batteries in here. Oh, it's off. Here's the off button. All right, let's put it on tape. Let's see if it plays when we mesh. It does. And when you press stop, it stops. Let's see if it plays a different song if you put a different cassette in. It sure does. Wait. What if you flip it? What if there's not a tape in there? It does not play. So how it knows what tape is in the actual boom box is you'll notice on these tapes, there are little circles right there. You see, those are for the sensors. There are sensors when you open it up right inside there so it knows which tape you actually put in the boom box. That is so cool. Now let's turn it to the radio and mash, play. So it plays different like radio stations from the 80s. You hear that? 
That is really cool. And that is the boom box that comes with the set. Here is Courtney's Care Bears pajamas. It comes with your one piece pajamas, your scrunchie, and your pair of fuzzy socks. You also get the little booklet. The pajamas have the Care Bears on the front. This is like a nice soft fleece, so definitely like some winter pajamas. Keep you nice and toasty. And this Velcros on the back. The scrunchie is also fleece. And these are your fuzzy soft socks, which I wear these all year round. I wear these in the summer and the winter. I'm just a huge fan of fuzzy socks. My feet just stay cold. So this set matches the sleeping bag set and it's just part of her slumber party set. Now it's time to take a look at Courtney's clothing collection. American Girl has done it a little bit differently with this release as everything is basically packaged as a mix and match option. It's not like there's a full outfit set that comes with the top, the bottom, and the shoes, which is what they normally do. And I've always been a fan of that before, especially because it's much cheaper to get it as a set. When you start mixing and matching, these items can be pretty pricey on their own separate. So when you add a top, a bottom, and the shoes, it could be around $50 or more just for one outfit. First up, we have Courtney's tennis shoes. These are her high top sneakers. I'm sure these look very familiar to a lot of people. And a lot of the 80s, 90s looks are back in style anyways. Um, these are just no name brand, but I'm pretty sure the most popular brand around this time was Reebok. These Velcro in the front. Well, you can stretch them out just a little bit if you need to get her foot through there if she's wearing some thicker socks. And the string does not untie, so that is just stuck there, sewn together but you only need to use the Velcro part anyways, but these are so adorable. I need them in my size, for sure. Replace the pink with purple, and I'm sold. Let's look at the price of these. I think her shoes were, it doesn't say on here, but I think they were like $16 just for the pair of shoes. So add this into an outfit, and it gets pretty priced. Here, we have Courtney's cardigan. The prices aren't listed on the package, but here's her cardigan. Super colorful, this is definitely like a saved by the bell cardigan. This was Kelly's, 100%, I'm pretty sure. And I'm also sure my mom had one. She loved these oversized like sweaters, cardigans, and they're back in. Look at all this, I love the color. I can't say that enough. I want this in my size. Throw on some leggings. I'm not gonna tease my bangs out, but I will definitely wear this. <laughs> see here we have, let's see what it's called. It's called her skirt and suspenders. I can't remember, this is actually, there's a name for this skirt. Can't remember what it is, but kind of looks like those old curtains. You know, those poofy curtains that you would like stuff in the middle. So this is her skirt and her suspenders. I love suspenders. Again, some things haven't gone out of style for me, which suspenders is another one of those items. This is Courtney's splatter print dress. This would also work if you're making a Dizzy doll from Descendants because this totally looks like Dizzy with all the art and everything. There are two layers under the dress, so let me show you. See? The first layer comes up, so there's dual layers, and I think the Halloween store currently has one of these dresses. It looks like this, but it's a sweater dress. But you can also pair these with your leg warmers and a cardigan or a sweater or something and some of the fingerless gloves and you would totally have an 80s look going on. This top right here is the shirt and tie for Courtney. One of the items that you can pair it with is this. So you put the suspenders over it, a little tie. Girls and women wore ties in the 80s. Purple, very cute design on there. And this is like a lightweight, it's not like a t-shirt material. It's like, I'm not really good with describing materials, but this is like a thin flowy shirt. Here we have Courtney's jeans. These are the denim jeans. Let's take them off the hanger, there we go. So they're folded down like this, so you definitely can wear them like that. They're folded up at the bottom. You see the darker wash underneath because it looks like it's been bleached or it's called like the acid wash look. And then in some places where it doesn't get bleached as easily, like in the pleats, it's darker. No pockets on the bum. That was definitely a popular look. 
style. I like having pockets on the bum. So you can flip this up, but these buttons, even though they're there and it looks like you can button through, you actually cannot. This is not an open hole right there to put the buttons through. So even though it looks like it might be like a high-waisted jean, these are only meant to be worn completely folded down like this. I mean, when I'm at the beach, I wear, usually I wear my shorts like that anyways, unbuttoned and then rolled down because you gotta be ready to hop in the water at any moment. <laughs> And then the pockets are shallow, but they are real. Of course, it wouldn't be the 80s without a good denim jacket. Closer look, it looks like the same material as the jeans and, and the jean skirt in her meat outfit. Here's the back. I don't know if they all look like this, if there's that splatter in the back, but mine has that. Like the bleach has splattered it right there. Collar comes up, and then let's see, yep. The buttons do unbutton, but these are like tricky tiny buttons. I'm not a fan of these little silver buttons. They're just plastic and they just feel really cheap. Like they could literally crack or something. I don't like them at all. I want some real buttons on there, like some metal buttons. And let's see, the pockets are fake. This is Courtney's t-shirt and tank set. Closer look, there's a cassette tape with triangles, some abstract art on there. It's just a white t-shirt, Velcros, and you have a green tank top. The green tank top also has a layer underneath just at the collar and it's white. And then the last set I have is Courtney's leggings set and it comes with two pair of leggings. This is just like a light blue legging set. It's not like your typical cotton. It's like, again, I'm not really good with fabrics, but this feels like a yoga pants. That's what it feels like. And then these leggings are lacy. Maybe you wore these and then you wore shorts on top. Maybe that was a thing. I did get the poofy sleeve jacket that goes with this dress, but for some reason it didn't come. And I also got the miniature Molly doll that came with Courtney's set, but it didn't arrive either. So this is the complete unboxing and review of American Girl Courtney from 1986. I hope you enjoyed this set. And if there's anything that's your favorite, definitely leave a comment down below. I love to have conversations about this time period and this look, anything that maybe American Girl missed out on so far that you would like to see from the 80s, leave it down below. Maybe we have some ideas on how to craft it or recreate it. 